Oh, actually, no, it's good. I was not offended. When coach is done, just for tonight, we're going to bring the players in this hallway. That's not what we're normally going to do, but for tonight, we're going to bring them in this hallway. Matt's got three or four guys. So, coach? Well, it's an unusual game. They missed a bunch of shots and got 30 offensive rebounds. We don't like that. Steve said it's most offensive rebounds we've given up in 14 years. Uh, but uh, we shot a good percentage. We got off to a good start offensively, and then we were able to run the ball. The big guys uh, rebounded the ball, and we got it out. And it's a couple times the big guys ran down the court themselves. We was, were trying, I was trying to almost play 10 guys equal minutes. Uh, had Justin with 22 minutes and Joel with 22 and then a bunch of guys between uh, 15 and 19 and uh, wanted to use our depth. Uh, one of the things I said earlier after Theo got hurt is that if guys can get confidence uh, and we get Theo back, then all of a sudden Brandon and uh, Kenny Williams and Nate uh, might even be better basketball players. So uh, I did like that fact. Uh, it was tough for Ben's team that he couldn't throw it in the ocean tonight. And, uh, uh, our size bothered them a little bit inside, but they missed a lot of shots that we did not get a hand up on. But uh, things you like, like the fact that the ball goes in the basket, you like 33 assists on 44 uh, made baskets. You like that they didn't shoot the ball well, but again, they missed some that were wide open and we just didn't get there to cover them. Roy, you used a lot of combinations in the backcourt. Were there any of those in particular that you saw that you really kind of liked that clicked? Uh, we've gone through 24 practices now, and I still haven't played a, quote, starting lineup together every day. We've changed guys over every single day in practice, so they've played with different combinations almost every single day. Uh, you know, I feel really comfortable now with Joel, really comfortable with Justin. Uh, Kennedy's doing some good things. Isaiah still hasn't played yet the way I want Isaiah to play, the way he wants to play. But I'm not worried about Isaiah. <laughs> if I'm worried about him, it means I've got a pretty good situation. Uh, but again, Kenny Williams and Brandon Robinson, uh, Nate Britt, there's some minutes there that Theo would have been getting that they need to get right now. But probably this week I'll start trying to put some guys together that I think will play more together once the season starts. But I really haven't done that yet. Boys, the, the 30 offensive rebounds they had, is that concerning or is this the byproduct of that 26% shooting? Well, you know, you're going to have more opportunities if you shoot a poor percentage, but we didn't do as good a job of boxing out. I told him about a kid that came and visited when I was at Kansas that he didn't realize there were 11 commandments because he said after watching our pra practice that the 11th commandment was thou shalt box out. And we did not believe the 11th commandment tonight. And uh, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, uh, again, you miss that many shots, and, and they're a good rebounding team. They go to the boards. You know, it hurt them a little bit because they had guys on the board they didn't get back, and our break was more effective because of that. But uh, it does concern me that we had some guys that I'm counting on being big-time rebounders that didn't box out. Yeah. Luke played with a lot of confidence tonight and did a lot of things. Has he been playing with confidence and playing well all around in he's, practice? He's been playing with confidence. He played pretty doggone well uh, at the scrimmage against Memphis. Uh, all the guys at staff, we voted on who we thought were the most impressive people, and he was one of the top four. The most of the guys that we talked to on media day were talking about how Kenny was the most improved player out there this summer. Uh, he hit two three-pointers today. He looked really confident. How much has he improved? In I think he has. Uh, missed his first three in the scrimmage against Memphis and then made his next three. So he was uh, three for four that day. I think he was, what, two for four tonight. He shot it well in practice. Uh, I think he had all ten of his points, Steve, in the first half. And so just didn't have as many opportunities in the second half. But uh, uh, Kenny was one of those guys in the top four after the scrimmage in Memphis. Is it kind of just a byproduct of having, for, for uh, Kenny and for Luke especially, is it just a byproduct of having that freshman year, being comfortable and being confident now? I think that's a huge part of it. I, th I always say I think the biggest jump is from some guy's freshman year to his sophomore year, whether it's Joel Berry last year. I hope it's the same way for Kenny and Luke this year. But, yeah, you just get more comfortable. You realize... All this junk that coach is throwing at you is not nearly as complicated as you thought it was as a freshman. And then they've had uh, a year in the philosophy, in the style of play, so they're more comfortable and then better job in the weight room. They're bigger, quicker, stronger, all of them. Roy, a week out from the start of the season, what's your greatest concern about these guys right now? Right now, they told me the worst thing they could ever tell a coach. They weren't in shape. No, and that's the worst daggum thing. you got to be dumb to tell a coach that. So we had a whole team full of dumb.
dumb guys tonight, so we're going to run our butts off tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it's, you got to be smarter than that. But, uh, uh, I would say the rebounding, because that I know 30 offense rebounds with 26% shooting is going to be more opportunities, but we didn't do as good a job of boxing out. Uh, We've thrown a lot of things at them. We threw a lot of things out there today just to see if it would stick in game action. I'd say rebounding would be the number one thing. Uh, number two is, are you tough enough to guard your man and stop him from scoring? And that's something I've been trying to challenge them at all year long is have more pride in what you're doing in the man-to-man -man defense. Anybody else? Roy, part of tonight was the partnership with UNC Pembroke for the food drive that'll help the people affected mm -hmm. from the hurricane. Uh, why did you and your team want to be part of that effort tonight? Well, I have no idea how successful it was, but I hope it was very successful. Needless to say, I think uh, you need to be aware of those things and the people down there with, after the hurricane and the floods have had a tough, tough time. So I'm hopeful that I, I'm hopeful some seats brought some food tonight, uh, too. Uh, but uh, the people that were here, I hope they brought some food as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>